Nailing Annual 2021, Tom Taylor. Writing with uh, C and Tommy and Daniel HDR uh, mm-hmm. on R. As opposed to his SDR little brother. <laughs> like, I was waiting yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, this has one of the most stylish first pages of a comic I've read in a while, where it's like, okay, I immediately know what tone you're going for in this in this book. Uh, sure, yeah, oh yeah, you get the hotel neon sign and then the, the mm-hmm. picking up the phone, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, you're, you're going for that noir feeling, like, right, like, right, I'm in, I've got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so this is a this is a standalone story. It's Night Nightwing and Red Hood, and it does have some flashbacks to uh, when they interacted back in the day, uh, mm-hmm. maybe even the first time they kind of met, really. Uh, so, interesting stuff. Uh, we start the story with this uh, criminal who's been escorted, uh, which turns out to be the FBI because he's going to be an informant. But what looks like Red Hood shows up, shows the shit out of the car, uh, murders some of these, these these agents, and then eventually kills the, the guy that was being escorted. And it sort of does that smart transition where it then transitions to Nightwing and Oracle watching the footage of this. Mm-hmm. And Nightwing's like, well, it looks like Red Hood, but you know, anyone could put on that mask. And then at the end of the footage, he pulls off the mask, you see his face, he's like, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> also, okay. I noticed, continuing the theme of this this run, mimicking the vibe of the Fraction Hawkeye run, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, yeah, this looks bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that, that was the first thing that Dick says in this issue, and it's, again, yeah, continuing yeah, true, that true. vibe of that book. I haven't noticed that, but you're right. Uh, yeah, this looks bad, Babs. I, I like the ads yeah. on the Babs just to give it a little bit of a DC flair. But uh, yeah, uh, so Nightwing's like, okay, I guess I'll sit up. I also love Oracle covering the dog's eyes uh, for the ending with the actual murder. Nice touch. That was yeah, nice, nice touch. touch. Uh, so Nightwing suits up. He's going off to see Jason, um, and we get our first flashback. And do you know what? Like Taylor did such a good job of like pulling on the heart strings with alfred at the start of this run when he you know dick getting the inheritance and like all that stuff um i think he did a great job in this issue again with this which is alfred calls dick uh at titans tower this is you know back in the early new teen titans days and says hey you know jason's you know having a rough time could you come in and uh well he doesn't even tell him about jason yet he kind of surprises him with that no, but he's just like hey you, you, you know your presence yeah. is requested and yeah like, no no bruce fired me he doesn't want me there well but... that's that's the notable part is that he says oh it's you asking alfred it's not bruce asking he's like yes yeah. he's like well i'm on my way then I, I love that i was like no oh it's not bruce that's asking it's you in that case yes i'm, I'm on my way uh that's really great and then he kind of like blind says him and says here's jason playing video games uh and he sort of sh- shuts the door and he immediately starts talking about, oh, I know what it's like being Robin, and, and Jason's like, yeah, do you know what it's like being compared to you constantly? Like, that's all he does is, like, how great you mm-hmm. were. Uh, so they kind of bond a little bit, and Dick's like, okay, let's go out, and let's, let's, you know, let's, let's get some training from a Robin rather than a Batman. And I love that Jason says, well, you know, Bruce said that, you know, we couldn't go out, and, like, what if he finds out? And Dick says, hey, Alfred, I'm, J- I'm taking Jason out, and he just goes, very good, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Not, not even questioning it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like, I won't say anything if you won't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah all of this... Case. Very, very Tom Taylor. Yeah. All, all the pacing of this, uh, which is basically that Alfred wanted Dick to go and bond with them and take him out. And it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is all behind Batman's back. Alfred's being the good parent and saying, no, no, no. Jason needs this. Go be a big brother. Yeah. Like J- Jason's like, you can't be seriously going to take the Batmobile. And Alfred's like, Here's the keys. Could you get some milk on the way back? (laughs) It's so good. Uh, Like, this is like... Like, there's a few writers who are doing their damnedest to make me give a shit about Jason, and it's stuff like this where it actually treats, like, Dick like the big brother and Jason like the little brother. Mm -hmm. That it's a way of, like, doing it. Do you know what I hate about this issue? Yes. Is it reminds me of how good Dick is as Batman? Because that's essentially what this is. This is more of a Dick-Batman vibe with... Mm -hmm. Jason as his Robin instead of Damien, but it's that same idea. And oh man, I miss it. I want more of it. Oh, and yeah, he's in his disc. He's in his disco Nightwing suit as well. We should mention that. He is. Yeah. 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 Well, also they're in the car, and he's like, "Yeah, I put my feet up." Um. He's like, "Well, I'm not gonna stop you." Well, yeah. You he's know. like, "Well, maybe not with the rocket launcher buttons." <laughs> there's a lot. Of, so good yeah, yeah. There's a lot of buttons that fire weapons. Maybe it's not a yeah. good idea to. Uh, just like again, <laughs> the the pacing of their conversations and just like it feels. Again, it's very much Taylor has Dick's voice down. Yeah. 
Um, I think that's the point. It's not just that the dialogue is like good for you know, as uh, good for being in character, which it is. Yeah. But it's also the pacing of it, so it flows so yeah. well that the jokes and the the reactions play off like so naturally uh-huh. and just fit. Uh, and a lot of what happens is when they go and find someone is that Dick you know, tells you know Robin's meant to be a distraction, but you also have to be the heart. So mm-hmm. it's like you don't just go in and like get the victim up. You actually ask if they're okay because Batman doesn't do that. Batman doesn't get all touchy feely. Batman's Batman a force of nature. Yeah. 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 Uh, so and you know Jason like chases after this mugger and like beats the shit. He just starts beating the shit out of him and Dick has to stop him. Um, says that's enough, Jason, and all that. Um, and. Like, and don't I know, Jason, like, you can tell I see his heart's in the right place because, you know, this guy kidnapped a kid and he comes up and says, you want to hit a kid? And he, get, he gets all scared. I love how he goes into the almost the Batman silhouette as, as Robin, yeah. where it's just the R and the cape, you see, with the silhouette. Uh, I like that he kind of channels Batman in that moment and, like, Dick has to stop him. And the whole point is, no, no, like, you need to be Robin, not Batman. Uh, so stop trying to be. Um... And I love at the end of this flashback, you just see Alfred smiling behind the big penny because what he, what he set out to do, his, yeah, his plan worked. Yeah, it's like they're bonding as brothers, and that was the whole point. Uh, and I love that this all plays out. Will sticks on his way to see Jason in present day, and that when he gets there, he's like, you know what? I still don't believe it was you. I, you know, I believe that you didn't do this. So we have to figure out why he had your face. And he, he checks for the, the wound that he should have had. And he, he checks to see if he's like a shapeshifter or, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I like as well that the reason that he believes him just like that is because if you killed someone, you don't up to it. You always do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you've never been afraid, you know, you've never been shy about the fact that you've killed people before. So it's really, neat. honestly, the biggest thing that threw me in this issue, because when they started hinting it was Clayface, I was like, but, but, but wait, Basil's a good guy. What's going on? What's going on yeah, with this? Yeah. Uh, so I was very relieved when it turned out to be the second Clayface, who I forgot existed. <laughs> Preston Payne, which he yes. goes way, way back. Oh, oh, are we like, going to brush over the fact that Nightwing pretended to be a crowbar? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. I do have to admit, I did pop at the joke. Well, because 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 you know, Red Hood's like, well, yeah, he's a crowbar now. It's kind of like with Batman with the bats, he's like overcoming his fear, yeah. and Dick's like, well, you should dress as a crowbar, then. <laughs> yeah. Or make this shape a lot. This yeah. shape up at an angle. Well, it's yeah, it's perfectly awkward <laughs> shit talking that mm. you make to your sibling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just because you know when when I mean we never read it, but when when, when Connor was reading Red Hood and he brought up that he's mm-hmm. going to run with a crowbar now as his main weapon. Um, we, you know, we all sort of made fun of it. It was kind of a silly idea. I love that Taylor's found a way to crack some jokes about it, sort of, you know, make fun of it, but still kind of makes it okay that he's still doing it. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's still kind of the same yeah. way that, that people make fun of the uh, the Drake name, yes, right? Yes, yes. Like, exact, yeah, we all know thing. this is kind of stupid, except this one we're not allowed to change right now. Yeah. So, yeah. All all good stuff. Uh, they go to the, the old bat cave where everything's, like, you know, covered up because Bruce has not been there. Um... And they use some, you know, some testing, figure out where they're going, uh, and you know they they, they track down this clay face, and there's some fun stuff with like him melting out of the red hood suit and you know mm-hmm. fighting the guys. He tries to turn to Batman to mess with Jason, but it doesn't doesn't work. I it, do love the way that the that's drawn though with the cape, the tendrils. With the cape, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man, so good. Do I think works? What, what I like about it is that it actually feels a lot like how Batman was drawn more in the nineties and the like, end of the eighties when mm-hmm. Jason's origin happened. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of that, like that Kelly Jones vibe. Yeah. So, yeah, you know they're fighting Clayface. Uh, they end up freezing him <laughs> in a freezer where it's just his head sticking out, but the rest of him's all frozen. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that was funny. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, he basically he, he impersonated Red Hood because that's the one that people would believe would be a murderer. You know, people people would question yeah. it if it was Nightwing or Batman. Like then they, they would. Oh, no right. one's gonna question Red Hood. Yeah. Yeah, because this guy was an informant. And so they had to go and, you know, whoever, whoever Clayface is working for, and of yeah. course has ties to, to Jason's past a little bit. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it because I was a little bit worried that this was going to be like, oh, the person behind his mother's death. Mm-hmm. But I kind of like, yeah. it was like, no, it was just the first time she OD. She survived this and she had more ODs, you know? Right. It, I like that point. Yeah. Just a drug dealer, the, essentially. The, yeah. It is a drug dealer and he's been, you know, living large. And so the... The actual FBI is going. So those, the 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 guys yeah. that uh, they got the footage from were FBI agents. 
And I like um, that keeps it within the realm of this is why the FBI is dealing with this and not other superheroes. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And, uh, it, and it was because this drug dealer used a supervillain that got, you know, Nightwing and Red Hood. Involved. Yeah. And I, I think that, you know, because they get, because he's trying to leave in a plane uh, at the moment and mm -hmm. they get Oracle to try and delay him as much as possible. And I, I kind of like yeah. that the, the guy's smart enough to realize that all these delays are just to keep him here. So he's like, no, no, like, take off yep. now. He holds a gun up to the pilot's head. He's like, no, we're going. Yep. Uh, and they use the Batmobile <laughs> to uh, stop the plane, <laughs> if you will. You said I could drive. And he wrecks it right into the plane to stop it. Yeah. Um, well, that, that's the, like... Obviously, they get in and they, 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 they apprehend him, and Jason chooses yeah. not to, like, murder him, so that's nice. Yeah. Uh, but, like, after... Just give him a good whack with the crowbar, though, doesn't he? He hit him with the crowbar. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, afterwards, yeah. like, it's like, well, you know, you know what Batman doesn't know doesn't hurt him. It's like, I think he's going to notice the damage to the Batmobile because we drove it into yeah. a plane. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it just ends in a sweet moment. It is a very one and done story, but it, like, this is going to fit nicely into whatever Nightwing trade it gets tacked on to the mm -hmm. end of. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's such a good little one off that's. And I feel it's like. Joining those issues of. Making us come around on Jason. I know, and I, I feel like it's continuing the idea of like it's still relevant to the run because so much of what Taylor's been doing is Dick's relationship with all the other Bat family members, which he's yep. been doing between Alfred, Barbara's a main character, and their relationships like an ongoing thing. His relationship lost stuff with Tim. Yeah, like yep. he's he's really delving into what Dick means to everyone around him, and I think that this is why it still fits into the overall run quite happily. Which I think we're we're, we're due a. A reckoning with Damien, right? At some point, in this oh yeah. for sure. Like it wouldn't surprise me if him and Williamson do some sort of Nightwing Robin crossover, crossover or something. Mm -hmm. I'd be okay with yeah, that. Which would you tell me by if if Nightwing wasn't the star of this book, I would be a little bit worried that Taylor's making us, you know, you know, he, he's making Dick too relatable, and something bad is going to happen. Mm -hmm. but oh, I think something bad. Character. Yeah, it, it, yeah. He's he's got that Daredevil thing, right? In what? that. Yeah. Every time something good starts happening, it, no, no, no. Yeah, His life needs to be shit. What? I mean, I I can see them orchestrating a thing where eventually, when we get the the proper Damien like story that he's going to do with them, that you know, what if for some reason like Batman's like, out for the count, and for some reason he has to put on a bat suit. Not that he's going to be Batman per permanently for any reason, right. but just as a one issue thing, he's like, hey, for all time's sake, let's go be Batman and Robin. See it happening mm -hmm. with Batman Inc. starting back up. Yeah. And, you know, oh, he needs mm -hmm. to be the Batman of Gotham again for a little bit. Uh, that, that would seem more, not permanent, permanent, but, like, more permanent in the sense that that would be like, oh, that's going to last for a year or something like that. Whereas I'm thinking just, like, a one issue. I, I would have thought just, yeah. like, a couple of issues in, probably yeah. in the Bat book itself. As uh, Okay, Bruce is off somewhere. He, he, he needs a Batman of Gotham, so Dick fills in right. temporarily. Because I, I feel like the choice to put on the Bat suit, and maybe it's something that he doesn't really need to do, because he can still just be Nightwing, but because he's with Damien, he says, hey, for old time's sake, I'm I'm going to go put the bat suit on and we can go be Batman yeah. and Robin because we were the best Batman and Robin and that's you know how it is. Uh, delightful as always. Uh, I had a fun time. Uh, the art uh, by uh, Tormey and HDR. Uh, that's mostly pretty good. Uh, didn't blow me away, but like there's a lot of nice. Like you said, that opening page is very atmospheric. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the action stuff with the the Batmobiles, good fun. And um, another yeah, ex a good example of having two artists because it's very clearly distinct and, mm -hmm. you know, completely different time periods. Yeah, it's, the, it's just a flashback mm -hmm. that's the other artist, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, well divided in that sense, and yeah, so there's very little to complain about. Matt, what are you giving Nightwing Annual? 8.5. Connor? 8.5. 8.5, yes, I think we're, we're all agreed on this one.